All right. <laughs> What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Savitech once again. Today, we're going to be going over how to reduce the power consumption in Hive OS for your NVIDIA GPUs. Yes, Red Panda Mining has already covered it, so a huge shout out to him. I went ahead and let it roll over a little bit longer since I knew he was taking care of the community. But in practice, I always like to make sure that I have a son of a tech video up for all of these types of things. So we're going to get into it right after a word from our sponsor. The following is a paid advertisement. Prime XBT is an established trading platform that was founded in 2018 and remained in business through the bear market. From my personal research, there are three main reasons they set themselves apart from other trading platforms. High leverage, low fees, and most importantly, privacy. Prime XBT requires no user information to start trading. The newest module called Covesting allows users to copy the trading activity of other users. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Use promo code SONOFATECH at sign up for a 50% bonus. Welcome back. So essentially what has happened is HiveOS has released an update that allows you to apply absolute core clock to your NVIDIA GPUs. This also needed to be supported by, of course, the NVIDIA drivers for Ubuntu. So that came first and that was the proverbial chicken before the egg whole thing. And then after that, of course, the setting within Hive OS came out for it so that you could go ahead and apply it within Hive OS itself. Now, the first things first is going to just go ahead and note that this is in their system change log and news. Definitely go ahead and pin this for any news and updates. They may apply that away. You can see if they've made a change that is going to impact your profitability. Obviously, this is going to impact your profitability because in practice, it should reduce your power consumption pretty significantly being able to lock in those cores. Now, here they have a little chart for you guys to go ahead and start playing around with. For example, the 3060 Ti from 1300 to 1350, the 3070 from 885 to 1150, the 3080 and the A6000s from 1010 to 1050, and the 3090 between 975 and 1035. Now there is a user's choice for the 3090 and the 1660s and the rest of the 2000 series. And I presume that is what is commonly being utilized. Let me know if that's how you read the chart as well down in the comment section below. Now I only have one rig, but we'll go ahead and show you guys how I adjust it. Here it is. It is the SOAT dash test rig. And if we click into here, you can see we start actually overheating on our poor little 3080 once again and I will need to pull it apart and get it rocking in a rolling, but it will not take a memory overclock at all right now. However, it is perfectly fine running at 87 mega hash a second the whole time, period. End of story, really odd. Anyways, outside of that, let's go ahead and take a look at the 3070s. It says to do 885 to 1150. I really have no idea. Let's go ahead and apply one at 885. And what you would do is this is core clock offset, but if we just came in here and did 885, you'll notice it changes it to absolute core clock. So we're going to go ahead and apply that to one of the 3070s. To the other 3070, what we are going to go ahead and apply is going to be the 1150. And then the last 3070, we are going to go ahead and leave stock just so we can compare the difference in power consumption here. Now we did have this one down was to about 140 it looks like and then these were at 160. That aside, let's go ahead and clock in something on our 3060 Ti. Let's go ahead and start at 1300 on the 3060 Ti. Absolute core clock and applied. And then on the 3080, we are going to go ahead and apply maybe just a 1050 to be safe because like I said, we are having some weird issues with this particular card. And then the absolute core clock clicks over and we're gonna click apply. Now at this point, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and we're gonna just take a look at these power consumptions. We've gone down from 140 watts to 126 watts recorded in Hive OS. Now Red Panda Mining did confirm this at the wall, so go check his video out. I will leave a link down in the description below. It looks like we had the 
let's see. So the other one that we put at 1150 went down to 129 watts. We aren't seeing a hash rate change in the 3070 here, so that's pretty good. And then on the 3070, it looks like either it hasn't kicked in. Let's see. Sorry. And then on the RTX 3060 Ti, doesn't look like we've made any significant changes here. And then on the RTX 3080, we don't have any significant changes either. Now the 3080, we can go down to 1010. So we're going to go ahead and try that out on the 3080. Let's see if that applies out anything. Oh, okay. We just needed to refresh, I think, at that point. So it looks like the 3080 will go down to 207 watts, and that 3060 Ti went down to 118 watts. So pr some pretty significant power savings on the RTX 3000 series with applying absolute core clock. Once again, you can verify this with Red Panda mining as well. Super easy. The only thing is, is it does seem confusing because it does run that absolute core clock. But if you came in here and did like just 10, it's not going to do an absolute until you hit the ranges that are within the supported ranges, correct? So you need to make sure that you have the supported ranges of whatever those are. And if you had like a negative offset, then it's going to show as offset. So just keep all of that in mind. And then just to be all dialed in i'm going to go ahead and apply the 885 to the remaining 3070s so i don't have to come back in here later and then we will be troubleshooting of course that 3080 that gigabyte once again it won't be our first rodeo with that card and overheating so hopefully we'll we'll have a follow-up on that for you guys as well so there you go absolute core clock save yourself some power make more profit yeah call it a day you know what i'm saying unless you got that solar dream already and then kudos to you my good man Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely support the sponsors for this channel by clicking the affiliate link either in the pinned comment or in the description. It'll be sonofatech.com forward slash prime XBT. And that will take you over there for an additional 50% sign up bonus. And of course, helps the channel sell more ads. It's pretty much how this game works. I'm learning. I'm learning and I'm teaching you guys as I go along, hopefully. I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or, of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.